changing topics, well, a variation on themes, uh, still public policy and politics, but in a more humorous vein. You know, if downloads were a measure of greatness, our next guest would be Herculean in stature, Adam Carolla. Great comedian, radio personality, television host and actor. He hosts the Adam Carolla Show, a talk show distributed as a podcast. It holds the record, the most downloaded podcast as judged by the Guinness Book of World Records. He joins us live now from Newsmax, New York. His latest book, President Me, The America That's In My Head, describes his vision for a different, better America Adam Carolla, it's great to have you on America's Forum. Tell us, President Carolla, what was the inspiration for your latest book? Well, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, I'd like to do what your last guest did, which was just take a really cool picture of myself and then just lock we'll, it off. We'll freeze so frame it right do. now. We'll get it right now. There it is. Adam Carolla, President Me. We got that, and, and then we will I'll just save talk that. over that. That sounds good. Yeah, um, my motivation, um, money. <laughs> good. I was paid to write the book. You know, everyone says, "Oh, what made you decide to do Dancing with the Stars? What made you decide to write a book? What made you decide to do money?" <laughs> Made me decide. All the celebrities who went, you know, I felt it was high time that somebody knew they're getting paid. So uh, first inspiration, money, but the second inspiration is uh, I'm raising a couple of twins in Los Angeles. I see society sort of crumbling around me, and I thought at least I'd go on record is uh, giving some of the solutions to fix it. And so in President Me, you have a, a personal political platform. What you would do if you were president, one of the points of your platform, you would require voters to show ID and a recent pay stub at the polling booth. Now, at the founding of our country, the only folks who could register to vote were men who, owed pro who owned property. With, with that in mind, mm. do you think uh, people, there, there should be a prerequisite not only being a citizen, but having a job? I like it, um, works for me. Look, if you got laid off last Wednesday and you know we vote on a Monday, I'll give you some slack. But if you've been unemployed for, eh, let's say, more than 18 months and uh, you don't have ID, no, you don't need to vote. By the way, everyone gives me slack on this ID thing. I just flew out to New York and I had to show ID to get on the airplane and then I had to show ID to get into the hotel and then I had to show ID to get into this building. So without ID, you ain't getting anywhere in this country. And I don't know why the folks are arguing with me. Instead, they should be trying to help the folks that don't have an ID get an ID. Well, Adam, I've got to make a confession here. When I was a little bit younger and used to watch your old program, The Man Show, my parents would see that and maybe hold that up as evidence uh, of the crumbling society back then. I love the show. My parents not a big fan of it. But what really changed for you to kind of maybe take this more conservative tack? Was it the fact that you had twins or had a family? Is that what, is that what changed things for you? Is this something that... Uh, an opinion you've always held. Well, you know, it's funny. It, it turned into a conservative value. Um, I think if you would have talked to people left and right 50 years ago and said, do you think you should provide breakfast for your child or do you think the school should provide it or the state should provide it? If you'd asked them about having an ID to vote, if you'd asked them about many of the things that we're arguing about today, you know, raising a family, staying intact, educating your kids, being responsible for your kids. Those things didn't fall under partisan politics left and right. They fell under no duh. You have a kid, you pay for that kid. Now all of a sudden, oh, Adam's a right winger because he has this crazy idea about you raising your kids, paying for your kids, studying and educating your kids, feeding your own kids. That turned into right-wing politics like 20 minutes ago. It never <laughs> existed before. It was no duh. They try to turn everything into some kind of hate speak. Oh, I'm into hate speak because I say raise your kids and feed your kids. I'll feed my kids. You feed your kids. And by the way, if you can't afford it, it's a sack of oats. A sack of oats costs 50 cents a serving. 
put a little half and half in there, stir it up with some brown sugar, you have breakfast. You can feed your kids. Adam Carolla, let me just go on record as one conservative, and I was showing my younger partner this uh, on YouTube, that the one bit that you and Jimmy Kimmel did on The Man Show with the deer, the talking deer on the hood of the station wagon, classic stuff. I had finished second in an election, and so for me personally, after losing, seeing that was the tonic that gave me a great belly laugh. Let me just ask you this. I won some, I lost a couple. Would you ever seriously consider running for office? Not necessarily president, but some political office? Um, I think there'd be a highly higher likelihood of that animatronic deer running for something than me. <laughs> uh, but by the way, you know, when Jimmy and I sat down to conceive that bit, I said, Jimmy, a talking deer on the hood of a truck, who's that going to help? And he said, somewhere there's a local politician that just lost a race and needs some cheering up. And I said, True you know what, you're right, let's do it. And of course, Jimmy Kimmel he has some Arizona roots, but Adam Carolla, we appreciate your story. Uh, your new book, President Me, The America That's In My Head, and we hope you can carve out time in your busy schedule to come back and visit us again real soon on America's Forum. It would be my pleasure. Uh, the perfect sequel to the book entitled Not Exactly Taco Bell Material, or Not Taco Bell Material, President Me, Adam Carolla. So, what did you think of what Adam had to say? I enjoy his comedy. I enjoy his philosophy. We'd love to hear from you via social media. Why don't you get in touch with us? You can reach us on Twitter at Newsmax TV, the hashtag there, America's Forum. Always send us an email, too. Great way to get in touch with us. Connect at NewsmaxTV.com. And then there's Facebook. We hear so much from so many of you on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Newsmax TV.